I feel the black eye or quivering. Yup. So, these guys are assholes. Oh, Jesus. Good dodge, by the way. Thank you. Oh, God, please, I'm sorry. You can show them what the black uh, black eye orb does. Yeah. And why I've been so angry about it since earlier in the game. Yeah. There we go. So that black eye orb uh, we got um, on the locker. Well, no, we got from yes and no. We got from uh, the firekeeper's uh, body. Uh, where she was found dead, uh, there's that black eye orb. And is it okay if I tell them? We'll see here in a minute. I believe you have to be in the middle of the floor, Zach. No, they did it up here. Yeah, but I had to always be in the middle of the floor. If you can use it, it won't be grayed out. Yeah, see? Uh, I would love to invade the world of the Firekeeper's Killer. Yeah, we use that to go and get the Firekeeper back, like her soul back, so that we can now have a, uh, a fucking fire and fire link. This is optional. You don't have to do it, but you're damn right we will. You betcha. So now I'm a spirit of vengeance. And that's Lotric. Yep. Lotric, uh, Knight Lotric the Guilty. He killed the Firekeeper. Um, that's why he was going to a new place, and that's why I've been terminally angry at Zack for letting him live. Because <laughs> if you kill him, the Firekeeper never dies. Yeah, he's a real piece of shit. Yeah. Well, look at you. I thought you were wiser. But I thought wrong. Just a terrible pity. Like a moth flittering towards a flame. You fellow, no? Don't you agree? <laughs> Got the sorcerer down. Yeah, he has two friends with him. I don't think he's ever explained who these people are. I think they're just, he's like, a Yeah, they're just people. I think he's like, sorry, I think they're like, just random souls he keeps with them. No, I think they're like, as accomplices. They're not like, he, he's not like, forcing them to be with them. But they're probably just helping him. They're probably mercenaries or something like that. Out of here, Lodric. Suck my dick. I mean, maybe that is what he's trying to do. Maybe you're just insensitive. You're right, maybe. Man, your shield is useless, my guy. Yeah, but his spear isn't. <laughs> In what world did you think that was gonna work? That world. Fuck you. Fuck you! Lotric, you fucker. You killed my favorite firekeeper! Suck my dick! And now we will have a fire back and fire link again. Once we use that. You betcha.
Uh, we got a souvenir of reprisal because we are, in a sense, without actually joining the Covenant, working for Velka, uh, the goddess of sin. So, we got the Firekeeper soul back, a ring of favor and protection, and five humanity. Do 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 do. Uh, so how much does it go down by? I oh oof, okay. With your permission, I'm gonna replace the one of physical defense with this one, the ring of favor and protection. Uh, HP stamina. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Now the downside of this one is once you put it on, like we have, if you can we, never take it yeah, off. If we ever take it off, it will shatter and we will never get it back. Exactly. But it's a real good ring. Because now, it's two stone. Look at that. It's two black iron. How about that, boy? Howdy. What if we just do um? Let's get crazy. Yeah. Let's get crazy. You gonna do ha uh, Havel? Yeah. We got Havel legs. We get crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Let's get bananas. Oh my god. Let's get. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, Zach. Oh. oh. I almost put on full Havel. Holy shit. She ready to go kill a boss, right? I mean, to be fair, we probably could have put on a better shield than this one, but fuck it. Who even cares? Obviously not you. <laughs> no, not anymore. So yeah, I guess, fuck it. I guess I'll try the boss. I don't anticipate this working very well, but... Oh, we'll see how it goes. Alright. All right. I gotta pump myself up. <laughs> Let's go. So these charming fellows are Dragon Slayer Ornstein and Executioner Snow. They're assholes and I hate them. Yeah. But hey, we do good damage. Do good damage, that's fair. Fuck, the music's so good, though. It really is. It's almost like it was professionally composed, Zach. Don't mock me. Not at my time of need. We're good. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Yeah, Monty Python, you good? Yeah. Yeah, we're great. Smoke it out of here. Oof. Throw us lightning, please. <laughs> oh. Mm, okay. Oh. Get over here. Get over here. You 
did ask him to get over there. Yeah, no, that is my cross to bear. Wow, that call was fucked. Oh, yeah. Ooh, good dodge. By the power of music! It's like the Phantom of the Opera. It's literally what the Phantom says in Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. No, my angel of music. Yeah. Time for phase two. And this is different for each boss. Yeah, so if you kill Smell first, uh, Ornstein keeps his lightning but becomes as big as Smell and faster. And if you kill Ornstein first, as you saw, Smell um, soaks up his lightning power. What the fuck hit me? Smell, I no. watched him hit you. No, he did not. Okay. That's a cool game. I mean, I used to be fair I did this hammer. I mean, fair. The one good thing about Smell, though, is that he's so fat, he can't really do anything but hit things in front of him unless he swings the hammer. So, really, it's just fucking area block him. Watch out. Uh, He's gonna do his, uh, his charge. And killed him. Yes! Which would mean, that's my controller, bucko. <laughs> oh, Good fuck. job. Good job, I know that was stressing you out. Oh, fuck, I have not killed him first try in a while. But also, uh, also depending who you kill first, you don't get both souls as far as I'm aware, you only get one of them. <sighs> you get the soul of the one you kill second. Correct. You get the uh, soul of the one you kill second, so we get the soul of Smo. If you killed Ornstein second, you get the soul of Ornstein. Zack likes uh, killing Smo second because he is easier than Ornstein in the second phase. But a friend of ours prefers killing Ornstein second, so, I mean, it's whatever you want. I was actually going to do Ornstein second if I died. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, because I've never seen that, so. Ooh, it sucks. Uh-huh. It's terrible. So, oh Jesus, dude, dude, my guy. Either way, I'm going to the elevator. I was gonna say, if you look at the statues, uh, some background. So, in the center being Lord Gwyn, to his right is his uh, firstborn child, Guinevere, who, uh, was uh, married off to a different kingdom, so she left. 
for a, she left for a time and then uh he actually has a third sorry second child uh whose name is Gwendolyn. uh and that's why there are three spaces but only two of them are filled because the third or the third statue second child is Gwendolyn. If I remember correctly, it's this one. I mean, to be fair, you can do either, but... Fair. I'm gonna rest, that cool? Yeah. How many do we need? Oh, we don't need it anymore. No, no. Anyway, you were saying? Uh, if you look behind you, if you go that way, uh, we kill, because we killed Knight Lotric, we'll actually go to the left. Because we killed Knight Lotric as a invader, or sorry, is a uh, avatar of vengeance. We will get all of this stuff here. Ooh. Yeah. I don't think it's better than what we have, though. It's not, but they give fun things. Oh, they, cool. they give like little bonuses. That's all. So it's like I don't know about you, but I feel, I feel like there's something missing from my life. Yeah. I do. I feel like it's it's such a huge empty void that I have to use both my hands to try to cover my, my cold bleeding heart. Yeah. I don't know what it could be though. I really don't. I've, I've really- d Zach, do you know what it could be? I mean, I, I, I think we've got some treasure chests in our time, but I don't think anything compares to quite what we're gonna see. <laughs> Hi! And overcome much chosen undead. Come hither, child. With pleasure. O oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day your father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. Da, da, da. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Queen, and inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end it this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. All right. So, Zach. Yes. Question for you. Yes. You like her, right? Yeah. She's cool. Yeah. Do you ever want to, you know, just beat her up a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, would that be something you're interested in, or do you just want me to walk away? Oh, that is a hard, that is a hard decision, huh? Because, depending on what you choose, I will explain what happens as I leave this room. We, I think we should hold off for now. For now? Yeah. And not explain. Um, no, we can explain. Okay, so we're gonna walk away for right now. So, I will have him explain this, because he explains it better than I. Uh, but, uh... All you need to know is that this is a hallucination. Or an illusion, I should say. There you go. And, uh, take it away, explain. Yeah, um... Mainly standing here, because I don't want to get into a fight and die. Halfway through you explaining. Oh, you can just go to the lock that's fine. Yeah, so she is an illusion, uh, because she was married off to a different kingdom a while ago, and she never, and she actually hasn't returned. But while she was gone, and while Lord Gwyn was gone, um, Gwendolyn, the second, uh, the second... Born child. Correct, the second child of Gwyn, uh, to keep Anarlando kind of running, and kind of keep it, to, like, together... 
uh, Gwendolyn, as well as other followers of the Dark Moon, which is what they are a part of, uh, has kept up this illusion that Guinevere is still here, and that actually Guinevere, as well as all of the sunlight in Enerlando, is actually an illusion. Um, this place is actually cold, dark, and empty, but they keep up this illusion to keep Enerlando kind of running, almost. And so if we were to attack her, uh, she would uh, instantly die, because she's an illusion. We would create darkness over Enerlando, um, and every person here would become hostile to us, and we would no longer have a bonfire because the Firekeeper would try and kill us. Exactly, and we'd get a fun new boss that could just go fuck himself. Yep. <laughs>